Hey guys, Stephanie Mitchell here. I'm an online marketing coach for beauty business owners. And today I'm talking about how to add little special, amazing touches to your guest experience at your salon so that your clients have the best appointments of their lives. Now, if you've been watching my channel, if you've watched some of my videos or read some of my blog posts, you know that when I talk about marketing, I often talk about how to attract new clients. So how to use Facebook ads, how to use social media, websites, personal branding, all that stuff, because I get that question all the time, how do I attract clients? But that's only one part of the equation. In order to actually grow a sustainable beauty business, you have to be providing incredible service to your clients every single time. My friend, Abby Werther, she's a salon owner and an educator. She said it best when she said, you can have the best marketing, the best branding, a huge budget, amazing team, but if you're not providing incredible service to your guests, you're gonna be like a hamster in a wheel, constantly spinning, trying to build your business and attract new clients without actually having anything stick. Great service and incredible experience is absolutely key for building a solid clientele and also to get that amazing word of mouth marketing, which we all want. Now, I'm sure that you've heard this phrase before, which is, People might forget what you said, they might forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. And that's what your goal is really, to provide an amazing experience that they will never forget and will keep them coming back to you. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing some small touches that you can add to your guest experience to make your clients love their appointment from beginning to end. We're talking about from just deciding to book their appointment into their appointment and then after their appointment as well. There's so many things that you can do here and I've got so many creative and juicy ideas for you. And here's the thing, I'm not talking about doing the bare minimum so that your clients have a satisfying experience. We're talking about elevating the experience. We're talking about going above and beyond, above anything else your competition or other salons have done to make your clients have that little endorphin boost and just make them absolutely go crazy for you. So let's get into the ideas. So the first thing I'm gonna go through is the client experience before clients ever walk into your doors. Now I know when we talk about guest and client experience, we tend to think that it's just about during the appointment, but actually it starts way before that when clients are just getting ready to book an appointment with you. How that experience goes can make the difference between them turning back and maybe deciding not to book with you, changing their mind, or having a confusing and frustrating experience and arriving at your doors feeling weird and stressed out, or it could be just the magic words and that path that leads them straight to you feeling confident, clear, and excited for their appointment. So let's talk about the booking experience. First thing to talk about is the actual booking experience on your website. So hopefully you have online booking enabled, and I'm hoping that you have taken a look recently at how easy your online booking app is to use. My suggestion here is actually have a friend go through the booking experience on your website and let them give you some feedback about how easy it was, how hard it was, if there was anything that they didn't understand because having someone else do it is so helpful. And on top of that, I want you to go through and look at, is it really easy to find how to book with you from your Instagram page, from your Google page? Where are the different places that people can find to book you and how? Is it just your online booking app or do you also have phone, text, email, etc.? Now, once people actually go to book with you, what is their experience like? When they land on your booking app, is it easy to use, like I said before? If they call you, how is your presence on the phone? Do you make sure to be smiling and make it easy to understand how to book with you? If they book through text message, do you respond back quickly and professionally? What is this booking experience like? And like I said, I do recommend you have a friend go through it with you. Now, it doesn't stop there. Once someone actually does book an appointment with you, what happens between then and their appointment? Well, hopefully they're getting some pre-booking materials from you, especially an email and a text message. Now, most booking software does allow you this capability, and I highly recommend that you take advantage of it. 
first things first, they should get a pre-booking email from you. It should not only include their appointment day and time, it should also include information about you, your salon, and what to expect. So talk about, introduce yourself first. I would love if you could have a picture of yourself just to say hi so people feel like they're already starting to get to know you. Get, maybe put in a little paragraph about what to expect during their appointment if you have information about consultations or COVID protocols, etc. Tell them that. Also, one thing that I love is when salons in that pre-booking email, they actually send you information about where they're located, how to get there, maybe information about parking, all of that stuff to make it super easy. And then don't just stop there. A text message is so helpful. Remind them of their appointment right when they book and then also in the day or two leading up to their appointment. Again, you can usually do this through your booking software. Now in this text message, you can customize it. So make it friendly, make it easy to understand, and most of all, make it really, really clear when their appointment is. Having these pre-booking text messages will definitely decrease no-shows, late shows, and will help clients communicate with you easily if they have questions or need to change something about their appointment. So definitely look at some of these ideas leading up to their appointment to really show how much you care and to get clients feeling prepared clear and confident about their upcoming appointment with you. Okay, let's talk about what happens during the appointments. And this is the part that usually gets the most attention and rightly so, this is your time to shine and add all those little touches that clients will remember you for. Now, a lot of this comes down to like physical, practical things and we're gonna get on that in a second, but a huge part of the guest experience comes down to you, the things you say, the presence that you present to clients. And remember this, my friend Dawn Bradley, she's a hairstylist and a business coach. She says, don't forget to wow clients every single time for every one of their appointments. Don't get lazy with clients who are coming back to you. Keep this level of service elevated, no matter whether it's their first appointment or their 12th appointment. Don also talks a lot about confidence and how it plays a huge role in creating a really great guest experience. You need to portray that confidence even if you're not feeling it right away. Don pretty much just says, fake it until you make it, and I completely agree. And that all starts with the welcome. So when clients come into your salon, you want to welcome them with enthusiasm and confidence. Remember that a lot of people, including myself, when we go into a salon or a business for the first time, we feel pretty awkward. It's a new space. We're just, it's all new stuff. And especially because you're a new person. So welcome them with confidence and start to make them feel comfortable right away. One of the things that will really help welcome them and make them feel comfortable right away when they come in is offer them something to eat or to drink. Offering them something to eat or drink right off the bat is such a good way to help them feel welcomed. So in the summertime, this could be something like you have a little mini fridge full of like La Croix, um, sparkling beverages, or I know that some salons even offer like rosé or sparkling wine, which you have to check if that's legal in your area. But having like cold beverages is such a nice thing to do during the summer. Or during the winter time, you could offer lattes or hot chocolates to warm them up. There are so many options. So it starts with a beverage, but you can even extend that into like snacks, etc. So Dawn Bradley, who I mentioned before, she actually had like a candy bar for her clients, laying out her favorite candies. Um, you could offer snacks. You could offer like some childhood favorite snacks or things that are easy for them to munch on and doesn't cost you a lot extra, but it is such a nice touch. If you're not really sure what to be offering and what people want, why not ask? You can go into your Instagram stories, do a poll there, or you could just send out an email to your clients or ask your clients when they come in, I want to start offering food and beverage, what would you like? Okay, so apart from the initial welcome and the food, let's talk about smells, sights, and sounds, which are a very important part of the experience. What is it that your client sees when they come in? Is your space clean and organized? Does it display a decor that really represents you and your brand and makes them feel calm? 
What does it smell like? Do you have a signature scent? Um, maybe you don't want any scent at all, but I know that some salons have like a candle or aromatherapy. So very be intentional about what your place smells like because that smell is related to memory. And then sounds. So if you have music playing, one nice thing to do would be to ask your clients, you know, if you've got a salon suite and they're the only one there, you could ask them, hey, I have a few different playlists. Do you want this one, this one, or this one? Or do you have a favorite type of music you want me to play? Again, really small touch. And it's not even really about the music. It's more about that you care enough to ask them for their opinion and they feel like they're customizing their appointment. Let's talk about during the service. So there are actually a lot of little add-ons that you can add to your client experience to elevate it. And these do not have to cost you a lot of extra time or money. Um, Abby, who I was talking about before, she has a hair salon and she does something called her hot towel service. So she actually has a little place where she warms her towels and she has them dampened and they have this aromatherapy smell to them. And when her clients are at the shampoo bowl, she will wrap this towel around their heads and just allow them to relax, smell that aromatherapy and make them feel like they're at the spa. Or I know a lot of beauty service providers will, while their clients are processing or waiting for something, they will add like little under eye masks or like a lip mask. Or I know some hair salons will have like little hand masks or foot masks to keep your skin really soft and have like an extra mini treatment during their main service. Again, this doesn't have to cost a lot of money to you, but it can be the difference between a regular appointment that they're used to and something that really wows them. Now let's talk about at the end of their appointment, we obviously want the pre-booking. Before their appointment ends, be sure to tell your clients how much you would love to see them again. So John Bradley actually recommended that you start off this by just giving them a compliment. You're such a cool chick, or you know, I loved doing your hair, I loved getting to know you. Give them a compliment and then tell them, you know, a lot of my clients at this point, they'll be booking ahead for the next three months. Is that something you'd like to do as well? If you wanna change your mind or cancel at any time, you can, but I just wanna make sure that you can get your spot. Simple, easy, but this, remember, provides them with a really great experience by showing that you care. And then before they leave, here's something that I love doing. So few beauty businesses do this, which is your chance to really shine. If you give new clients a little mini goodie bag before they go home. So this could even just be like a paper bag that has like a sticker with your name or your logo on it. So it feels personalized. And in this little goodie bag, you could provide a few things. You can put your business card in there. You can provide a printed at home care instructions guide. Um, if you want to, which would be so appreciated, you can do like a little handwritten note thanking them for coming in. But then you can also put a few goodies in it. So if you're a hair salon, you could maybe put like a scrunchie or a hairbrush. Um, if you do lashes, you could put like some mini um, like cleanser products in there. Or no matter what kind of business you have, you can put some mini products in there. They will love it. And as an extra little surprise, you could give them a little gift card, like a gift voucher or something printed out for 10 or $20 off their next service to make sure that they come back. Or you can tell them that they can gift this to a friend as like a referral, which is so fun. So clients will have this goodie bag. They will love it. It's something that so few people offer. So I really do think that it can make a really special, nice touch. And then here's an extra little note for you. Um, when your client leaves, have a little place where you put some notes about them, whether that's in like their client profile on your booking software, if you've got like a Google Doc, or if you just have a little notebook that you scribble some notes into, write down some things about what you did for them, maybe some notes about them or you know when their birthday is or something that they told you about themselves so that you can remember for next time and make them feel really special and remembered. Any of these little extra add-ons have the purpose of making your clients feel pampered, comfortable, relaxed and seen and heard during their appointments. So think about some of these ideas and maybe come up with your own as well. Okay, so this is the final part, which is after their appointment. So many beauty business owners skip this step, but it is so crucial because 
after they've left your doors does not mean that the guest experience is over. So don't forget. I can't tell you how many salons and spas and beauty businesses I've been to who I go in for a great appointment, but afterwards I never hear from them again. I just, I feel like some random person. I feel like I don't have a connection to them at all unless I, I don't know, follow them on Instagram or something. But what if instead your clients really felt like they were part of a community or a club, like they felt really connected to you? That's what you can do by giving them a great post appointment experience. First thing that I want you to do, of course, during their appointment, you're gonna be getting all their information, like their email address, maybe even their birthday, uh, their address, all of that. I want you to put this in your booking software or your email software and automate it so that the day after their appointment, they get an email from you. This email can have a picture of you. It could say something like, thank you so much for coming in. It was amazing to have you. And as a new client, I would love to hear what your experience was. Would you mind leaving me your feedback in the form of a review on my Google page? This actually does two things. First of all, it makes them feel like you truly care about them and their thoughts and their feedback. Secondly, it also helps you to build your business because it gets you a bunch of Google reviews, which is an amazing way of getting found. So don't skip this step. Definitely send them a post appointment email. And now that you've got these clients on your email list, do not forget about them. So if you uh, got their birthday, for example, you could send them like a birthday month email with a special gift voucher or gift code for appointments or products during their birthday month such a nice way to make them feel special. And remember to follow up with them regularly with monthly emails. So everybody on your list should be hearing from you at least once a month. In those emails, you can send pictures of what you're up to, maybe some pictures of your favorite clients that came in to get their hair or nails or skin or makeup done this month. You can include updates about what you're doing in your business, any promotions or sales that you have. Just make sure that they hear from you and that will really create that connection and that community and it will help remind them of you so that they book more often. Another nice thing that you can do for your clients is do promotions just to reward your clients. So instead of just always looking at doing like special promotions or offers just for new clients, look at having like once a month or once every few months a vip promotion that's a private sale just for your clients it could be you add on special products or upgrades to some of your regular appointments or maybe you're doing like a retail sale that's only for clients help them feel special by providing an opportunity to buy from you and book for with you with rewards that only your clients are getting the feeling that you really want to convey in these post appointment experiences is you want them to feel cared for you want them to feel community and you want them to feel connected with you as a service provider so in conclusion i hope that you've got some good ideas for what to do before during and after your clients appointments to make them feel so special and cared for. I know that some of these touches might cost you a little bit of extra money, for example, like the food or beverages, or a little bit of extra time, like setting up some of those email automations. But it is such a good investment. I promise you that having clients who are absolutely in love with what you do and who can't wait to book and also refer their friends to you, that is the best marketing asset that you have and it will come back to you tenfold. So thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Stephanie Mitchell, and I will see you again next week for another salon marketing video. Talk to you soon.